Cabinet has approved the resumption of first doses of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines to children ages 12 and over. Minister of Education, Youth and Information Favor Williams also provided an update in Parliament on school vaccination plans and the phased reopening of face-to-face -face classes. More from Simone Absalom Gale. On Monday, the Ministry of Health and Wellness resumed administering first doses of Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines to children 12 years and older. The Education Minister, Favel Williams, says the rollout will take place predominantly in schools. Our Deputy Chief of Education, Chief Education Officer in charge of schools operations, is busy helping schools to ramp up so that our students aged 12 to 18 can get vaccinated and get back to school as quickly as possible. We will have many vaccination blitzes so we, as we can in our schools with our school nurses, making it convenient for our students to get access to the vaccines. Minister Williams says 99,887 students out of a population of 240,000 have gotten at least the first dose. And for those who are not getting the jab? We will still have the modalities the online, the audiovisual, the learning kit available for those students whose parents have chosen to not let their children take the vaccination. The resumption of the Pfizer vaccine distribution comes as schools reopen to accommodate face-to-face -face classes. The education minister says 248 schools have reopened so far with up to 85% attendance. The ministry's yard-to-yard -yard initiative is working to make contact with those unaccounted for. Our Yard to Yard Find the Child initiative has been rolled out officially. Additionally, for the past 18 months, the regional support teams and the school-based support teams have been working to locate and re-engage our students. This includes approximately 3,550 persons working directly on this task. We have 80 officers of the ministry 200 school resource officers from the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and 3,271 school staff. Prior to the start of the 2021-22 academic year, 25,642 of the 40,795 students who were absent for 100 days or more were located and re-engaged. Madam Speaker, we will not leave any child behind. She says the ministry will be conducting ongoing assessments as the schools reopen. For the news on PBCJ, I'm Simone Absalom Gale.